Hi everybody, how are you doing? Are you ready for the new lesson? Awesome, let's get started. Today we're going to cover some topics related to the education and its advancement towards your future perspectives uh, uh, such as uh, tailored with your uh, future uh, job advancement or maybe the uh, you, you might be a good tradesperson or something like that in whichever way that you might want to use the education in your future life. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about the academic qualifications and how they might be used in order to enhance your general life skill in the future. All right. First of all, I'd like to uh, start with this question that what do you think about the education system in your country, wherever you reside? For example, you, Jana, what do you think about uh, Turkey's education system? Do you think that it's great, it's wonderful, excellent, or it's not that good, poor, or so-so? That's fair. Alright, ja ja Javid, and what do you think about Azerbaijan education system? Alright, and also, we, we, we might be uh, develop ourselves uh, to find out about the other educational models in the, uh, in the worldwide as well. Uh, so, I would like to talk a little bit about the U.S. education model. Okay. In the United States, generally there are uh, schools and each school has four years of education. This is for general, not for every step of the education system. So, we get started education through two to six years. What kind of school? Do, do we go to the university when we are two years old or six years old, five years old? Absolutely not. So what school do we call it? Yeah, nursery school. Nursery school. Okay. So uh, what? Yeah, uh, it's also called kindergarten, but in the United States, we generally prefer using nursery school because kindergarten, I think, is derived from Germany. Afterwards, at 7 11, we have the primary school. Then, come on, you might be interactive. Okay, secondary school, and then we have the high school, right? So uh, it makes 12th grade, okay, 9th and 12th grade, high school. So that's why in the United States and in some countries there are 12 years of education, but in Turkey, in Azerbaijan, uh, or Russia, there are 11 years of education. Probably it's going to be changed uh, by the governments. We have no idea, but uh, this is how we organize the education system in the United States. All right. So. Since there are four years of education level, uh, education years in each category, so we have four types of students based on their entrance year to the university, to the high school, to the uh, nursery school, or so, so. Okay. So also we, we say, let, let me ju just uh, tell you in advance that we call tertiary education. This is the British version. And in the U.S. we call higher education, and yeah, higher education. By means of tertiary education or higher education, we refer to the uh, we, we, we refer to let's say bachelor's degree or in other words undergraduate degrees. So, do you remember our last lesson about the professions? In that uh, lesson, we talked about what would you like to be and in order to be that uh, professional person what do you have to study as in your bachelor's degree right then it comes what's the next level after bachelor's degree after undergraduate degree we have yeah Jenna? graduate degree or master's level and afterwards modern yeah that is phd degree or postgraduate degree, we have uh, postdoctorate degree as well. All right, and let me ask you some questions about the entrance years of the students. The first, 
third and fourth year. I think approximately uh, two months ago we talked about it when you just started this course that you were at that time correct freshman. The first year of the student is called a freshman student. Okay. And so if I tell you that are you a freshman, it means that are you a fresh or a new person here? Or is it your first year at the university at this course or somewhere? Do you remember the second year? The second year is called sophomore. Right? Sophomore. And the third year is called junior. And the last year or fourth year here is called senior. So if I uh, ask you that uh, well, let me ask you this, uh, Javi. Uh, do you think Janet is junior or senior? Neither. She is freshman, right? Okay, and let me ask you another question. Uh, there's a quite different trend in today's uh, education world, and most people, instead of studying the traditional courses, they prefer online, uh, online courses. I don't mean that this is the majority, but the trend is, uh, at least shows us this. Right? Online education. What, what do you consider uh, online education as it is the, it's our future, it's beneficial or disadvantageous for the future of the humanity? What do you think about it? Being, educa uh, being uh, or having the online education system. Do you think that the government should adopt such kind of system? No? Why? So, <laughs> you, do you really think that uh, the government cannot organize and control this system and, and they, they, should, uh, they, they cannot be such kind of me uh, mechanism? <laughs> if the government wants, they can do many things. Just believe me. Alright, uh, let's talk about the pros and cons of uh, education system and at the end of the lesson we're going to task you the uh, well, I'm going to task you to write an essay about the education and it's uh, if you, uh, I'm going to uh, tell you the prompt at the end but it's about the education and how it can uh, if it is necessary to attend the university to become a beneficial person for the, to the humanity or not, whether it is possible, important or not. You're going to discuss this and before that we're going to uh, touch upon some points. Probably some of those points will be useful for you to uh, integrate it into your own essay. And to assess your uh, performance in terms of your interaction and performance, okay, uh, I'm just going to uh, pay heed to four criteria. First of all, you need to answer the questions properly. Whatever the question is asked uh, is asking you, you have to answer it directly. Okay? I don't uh, I don't want any circumlocution or any other uh, just beating around the bush. Uh, it's it's not the kind of uh, say writing, right? So you need to ask uh, answer the question properly in the test. And uh, secondly, I'm going to check up your uh, lexical resources that whether or not you use the vocabulary that I'm going to introduce now uh, in terms of online education and any other uh, education related uh, issues and also grammatical accuracy and uh, a range of grammar is also important uh, you need to uh, demonstrate the accurate grammatical uh, structures that you write your sentences and also you need to uh, pay heed to not only uh, writing with simple sentences but also complex and compound sentences should also be demonstrating your essay. And lastly, you're going to write the connector words, for example, this is your first point or now you're adding the additional points or uh, this is your final point. So it has to be organized and it has to be crystal clear. So now we're going to talk about the benefits or pros and cons of online education. 